Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can pass values from one form to another. So suppose we have been uh, developing the, this application of login, username and password and then the second form opens. And for example, I want to uh, give, for example, login, username and password and when I log in, I want to show or I want to greet the user by his name and some message to him for example welcome whatever the username is so i'm going to show you exactly that in this video so there are many ways of transferring uh, values from one form to another but i will show you basically two ways of doing this so let's see the first way so what you need to do is just go to the code for the form 1 from which you want to pass the values, right? So in here, this is form 1, right? And this form 2 is where you want to pass the value, right? So what you can do here is just go to the constructor of your form, which is this one. So constructor of uh, form is what? Uh, it's the same name as your class name. So my class name is form2 and the constructor here is form2. The same name as your class name. So this is called the constructor. And you can pass the values using this constructor of your uh, form class, form2 class for example, by passing some argument here. So go to this uh, bracket in the constructor. Basically, the basic use of constructor is initializing the values, right? So here we can, for example, write uh, what we can write: write uh, string and some value. So I will say this is username. Okay. And so this I have, uh, I will use to initialize this form2 object from form1. So go to form2 where you want to pass the values and go to the constructor here and just add this line to the constructor. And then go to form1 and I want to uh, pass the values on the basis of this login successful, right? Whenever this login uh, is successful on the basis of that I want to pass the values. So I will just click this button because here I was checking the username and password and if the username and password is correct then I, I was uh, uh, going to the second form if you are following these videos. And if you can see here as soon as I change the constructor here the initialization of this uh, form to constructor is showing uh, the error because now it's expecting some value or string values inside this bracket because we have initialized our constructor by this okay so we are expecting string value inside this bracket from the form one right so if you have seen my login uh, form video I have shown you how you can open uh, the second form by this uh, form2 object. Okay, so form2 is, uh, and the object name is equal to new form2 and then I will just show the form by f2 show dialog. Okay, but now this time what I need to do, I will need to pass some um, string value here. So what I can pass, I can pass my username in this initialization of uh, form 2. So just go to the username here, copy the name of your text box, go here where we were. So this is the code I have shown you in the login where I have shown you uh, how to log in to the page, create a login page, right? If you remember, okay. And when username and password is correct, we were redirecting to the uh, second page, right? And in here, in this uh, form 2 constructor declaration you can pass uh, this uh, text box a uh, name dot text 
because this text box uh, name dot text text is also a string, right? And we are initializing uh, this form two by this string, and the form two is expecting this string. So then we can access this string and we can use it in the second form. So how you can do it? For example, I want to show this same value of username to the to the second form. So I will take a label from here. Let me see where is the label. Here is label. And in this label I want to show this. So I will just change the font size. And then I want to show the message in this label. I will not change the label and name for now, but you can change it. And in here, in the constructor here, in the form 2, what you can do is just go inside this uh, form 2 constructor and you can say label dot text is equal to the username. Okay. So because you have initialized this form 2 with the username whatever user enters here it will be passed to the form 2 here in this constructor and then it will be passed to the label 2 so let's see if it works or not so username and passwords remember username is 2 right so username and password is correct and it's showing some error let's see what's the what is this error so it says object reference not set as an instance of object. Okay. So let's do it. So I see the problem here. Because uh, we are assigning the value to the label before initialization of the component occur, this label, label will uh, throw an error because it doesn't know before initializing of the component what this label is. So just cut this code and paste it below initialize component. So once your in components are initialized, then you can assign this value to your label. Okay. So just paste any code below this initialize component function. Okay. Once again, username and password and we are expecting this two in the second form and so you, you see here two is coming here you can uh, do it in more interactive way like this in here you can uh, write in the form one uh, or form two you can uh, just write label dot text and you can say as a string you can say welcome and whatever the username is right with a plus concatenation operator okay now it will greet your user by welcome so let's try it once again and you see welcome or whatever the username is okay now i will show you the second way of doing or passing the values from one form to another so I will uh, remove this label uh, assignment here and in here also in the form 2 declaration I will delete this and I will make it uh, as the way it was initially right. So form 2 was like this and in the form 1 we have changed this so I will make it like this like it was initially uh, set right now we can use properties uh, c sharp properties to transfer the values from one form to another so what you need to do is in the form 1 class go at the top here in the form 1 class you can declare a public variable so you can write public and this will be a string it will return a string so you can write string and then you can give a name for example user name 
and you can use get and set properties so what you can do you can just write get and then semicolon and then private this will be private set and why I am doing private setting the value as private because I don't want that in the form 2 this setting of the value has to be done okay it should be done in the form 1 and I want don't want to give the access of this username in the second form otherwise the uh, second form will be able to uh, change the name and then this username will not be safe so the setting of this username should be private to form 1 and getting should be um, you know public okay so this get value can be accessed in here but the set value cannot be accessed here right if you don't know what are properties i will uh, paste a link below this uh, this video so you can uh, see what are property and how to use properties in C sharp so uh, you might be wondering what are properties or you are beginner to the C sharp then I will paste you a link so you can click it and watch it and wa uh, watch what properties are so this is a property declaration and this username is our property for example and we are getting and setting this uh, property by get and set method okay so we have declared the string as a public variable in which setting of the value is private to form one right now once again go to this login form and double click it and on the successful uh, checking of the username and password if the username and password is correct once again I will open the second form but this time what I uh, am going to do I am going to pass the form instance as an argument right so I will go to first of all form in the form 2 and in the form 2 constructor as I have done uh, I have passed here a string I can pass a form 1 also form 1 class form 1 right form 1 and I can say this is f1 instance so now it will take form 1 class object okay so this is form 2 and we are passing or initializing uh, in the constructor form 2 as an argument right now once again go to your form 1 and in here you will see an error because now it expect a form 1 class as an argument so you can just give it like this you just need to write this here and this keyword indicates the class you are in so this indicates form 1 because we are in form 1 right now so now whenever you uh, need to pass any values from form 1 you will be able to access all the values which are public in form 1 in the form 2 as an instance of form 1 right so what I can do is I will just copy this username here and once again go to the login button and just uh, above this form 1 declaration or uh, you can do it after, just after this uh, username and password correct message username is equal to the text box name which is this one and dot text okay so we have set this property to the username which we are getting from the text box and now because we are passing this uh, f1 instance to the form 2 declaration 
we can access this uh, username uh, variable from form 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 one to the form two by using an instance of form one. So just go above this form two where you have uh, declared form or uh, passed this instance of form one as an argument, and you can just copy it like this and make a public variable of form one and this. You can make it like this, this underscore before one. Okay, so we know that this is an instance of form one. And now, what you can do here, you can just write just below your initial initialize component method or function, whatever you want to say. But in C sharp, we say it a method, right? You just uh, need to get this F1 field from here. So just write this dot F1 is equal to this F1, which we are getting from the initialization from here, right? And now we have the instance of form one in this F1 variable. So just copy this, and you can just pass this variable or you can access this f1 variable anywhere in any method here because it's a public public field right so what i i want to do is i will write label 5 i think it was is equal dot text first of all i need to write dot dot text is equal to f1 the instance of uh, form 1 dot the username so just write dot and you will find username somewhere so just write u and you see it automatically so shows username field so you can access this username from this form too and this username was the field here if you remember so once again i will run the program and username and password and you can see this is shown here and you can make it even better by giving some initializing message so just give hi whatever the username is but this should be a string so just write hi and the username with this plus concatenation operator and you can once again Give this plus concatenation operator, and you can say how are you today? Okay, run the program, and username and password, and you see how high, and the username is two. How are you today? Okay, so in this way you can pass uh, the values from one form to another using these two methods. There are other ways of doing this, but I have shown you these two ways which you can use. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And bye for now.